Once we talk about green state, it's very important to know how we actually created the green state. We know the vertical farming as technology is existing for the last 40 years. And the vertical farming is coming with several problems. The first problem is cost of setting up the farm. The second problem is actually cost of operating the farm due to high man working power costs and operational costs such as electricity, heating and cooling, water consumption. And again, when we come to the third problem, it's not high available to large masses. So only several companies, let's say several big companies could enter the vertical farming and it's not built on a kind of democratic way that everyone can afford to have a vertical farm at home. And this is how we created the green state. We created the green state based on those three problems. So we wanted to provide affordable, on an, based on initial cost, affordable modular and vertical farming uh, op operational farms. Uh, we wanted to afford a solution which is not consuming a lot of energy and a lot of resources. And the third solution, it's really so being able to give it to everyone. So because we have the industrial solutions, which are for the big companies, but also we can serve the normal working human who can actually afford and buy one module and grow the, the fresh nutrition, full nutrition food at his backyard. And this is actually the history of why we created and why the green state is existing. Once we talk about the vision of the company. The vision is always growing of a fresh, nutrition full, no pesticides and locally produced food. So another question is how are we doing that? This is through our mission where we are building the high-tech modular hardware and software solutions in which we are combining together for being able to optimize all the growing solutions and theoretically to, to grow almost all fruits and vegetables and providing that to the people. So this is kind of, to sum up, this is, I mean, what we are trying to do. We are trying to grow fresh, nutrition full and locally produced food with no pesticides and making it affordable almost to everyone as well to the industry for the companies who are willing to build the large vertical model farms and the normal human working class, which is looking to buy one small solution which could be installed in their backyard. Green state technology. Uh, technology. Technology of the green state we have to separate into two directions. The first one is the hardware and the second one is the software. I would really like to use this opportunity to tell that we have developed everything by ourselves and the hardware solutions, for example, if we look into the model farms, we created our own solutions. We had we hired the engineers which built modular farms based on the client's needs and based on the needs of the green state. So we have a steel frame and then we have the isolation panels which are built from aluminium, uh, pure isolation and, and PVC and they are very sustainable and could be used from 50 to 100 years and now it's up to us to test it, to test it really for how long they can last. And then we created as well the electrical engineering and uh, we in ordered really the industrial parts from Schneider, Siemens and then and, and the Maxa for the HVAC installations from, from Italy. And on the second part we are building the software solutions in terms of the SCADA systems uh, which are through the sensor and IoT components are taking the data, taking the growing data and everything what is happening in the containers in the modular farms uh, and through the PLC system from Siemens sending this data to the Amazon Web Services where the green state servers are. So we are collecting the data and we have built the so big data, IoT and AI architecture where we, are, we can collect the data from multiple sources, we can work with data, optimize it and send it back to the modular and vertical farms, giving them the inputs how the containers or how the modules shall grow so we can create the most optimal growing conditions which are implemented as digital recipes. Why is this so important? I mean, today we are having the know-how with the person who is doing his own crops. 
and the best and most optimal knowledge is with one person who is who, who is making his crops who is operating his crops and we are having the large masses of people who don't who doesn't know anything about farming and this is what we are trying to do we are trying to take the know-how from a one person to put it on a cloud and create the digital recipes which could be shared with every person on this planet so you can really be a farmer you can become a farmer with one click on your telephone and this is the the final goal we are trying to achieve to once you build a vertical farm once you buy a modular farm or even single module you can with simple usage of your telephone and one click become a farmer and you get the know-how from all these data which we uh, collected through all these years of farming. I mean it's not only from us we want to put many companies in the ecosystem that we combine the data and, and that we all profited from from it in, in, in the future. So this is actually the final goal with a, with a big data and creating digital recipes that could actually be shared with everyone on, on, on this planet.